Hello chess lovers, Sonan here and in this video we are going to take a look at an aggressive attacking game played by open source chess engine Stockfish against neural network based chess engine Lila Chess Zero. This game is from Top Chess Engine Championship Season 15 played in 2019. Stockfish is playing with the white pieces and it opened up with e4 to which Lilaches 0 answered with e6. French defense is on the board. Knight c3, bishop b4, win over variation, e5, advanced variation, c5, a3 and an exchange on c3 followed. As you know an alternative is moving back the bishop on a5 but an exchange followed. And now by playing queen g4, white is trying to exploit the absence of black's dark squared bishop. Knight f3. Other alternatives are queen h5 or bishop g5. In the game we see knight f3. f5, queen g3, queen a5, bishop d2, b6. We are pretty much following the main theoretical line. a4 is very interesting because with this move white is going for a pawn sacrifice. After c4, bishop e2, black is then playing b5, and there we have it, uh, this pawn on a4 drops, white castled kingside, and with b takes a4, rook a2, bishop d7, h4, a standard move in uh, advanced variation of win over variation, white is usually pushing this h pawn as far as possible, in order to weaken black's king side and try to create an attack. Rook f b8. Well, seems like the, this is the critical point in the game and by playing rook f b8, black is making a serious mistake. I analyzed this position by using Chessify's powerful cloud servers. Yeah, only in that case I managed to figure out where black's defense went wrong and according to Stockfish, uh, it's in here that rook b8 is a mistake and instead you should open up the light squared bishop's diagonal and protect the pawn on a4. But instead after rook f a1 we see rook f b8 and without meeting any obstacles white won the pawn on a4. Rook b1 check and an exchange of rooks followed. Bishop g5. Meanwhile, white is trying to build up his attack on the king side. h6. A pawn sacrifice is on the board with which white is forcing black knight to step on an awkward square after which is landing a heavy punch. Can you find white's next move? Ready? Well, at this point we see bishop sacrifice. How do you like this beautiful move, guys? The idea is to weaken the g file and also open up the h to b8 diagonal for the queen after which the queen is ready to infiltrate opponent's camp g takes f6 well if rook g8 if you want to accept the sacrifice and neutralize the mating threat the knight g5 can follow and actually we will reach this position with a transposition of moves so after bishop f6, black accepted the bishop sacrifice and it takes f6. Now we have a mating threat, that's why black played rook g8 and knight g5. Rook g6, trying to get rid of this f pawn as soon as possible, but now comes queen d6, attacking black's light squared bishop. Queen c8, protecting the bishop, covering the eighth rank. And it may seem that black managed to set up a very solid defense, but with his next move white simply blew apart opponent's position. Can you find white's next move? Ready? Well this time we see a brilliant rook b7 move. How do you like this beauty guys? White rook is penetrating opponent's camp the 7th rank and once black is accepting the rook sacrifice is leaving the 8th rank unprotected and there followed queen f8 check. Rook g8, queen takes h6. Now queen h7 is the mating threat here also. There is a threat of a smothered mate, right? Bishop e8, f7. A powerful blockading move. 
If bishop takes f7, then the h7 is no longer guarded and queen h7 will follow. Now that's why at this point black gave up his queen, but after uh, once white is managing to win that queen, victory becomes matter of moves. Interestingly, my stockfish suggests bishop takes c4, thus saying that this is also winning and maybe even stronger, but in the game we see bishop h5 continuation and now let's see how is white going to realize the advantage. So all in all, black has uh, enough material against the queen, but now the knight on c6 is also, also drops, yeah. Uh, and at this point already nothing can save black. Uh, now let's see how is white going to finish up his opponent. Uh, it's strange that uh, Stockfish gave some checks. Don't know what was Stockfish, what was in Stockfish's mind when making these time-consuming moves. But now it will realize the advantage. The f pawn is a very mighty soldier, and together with the queen, they will definitely uh, kill the enemy king. Uh, the pawn on a2 also drops. Meanwhile, black is giving some checks, but these are not dangerous. You can't do you can't do any harm to this white king. And soon after queen d8 check, king h7, uh, white won by adjudication. This is a top chess engine championship win rule, and already there is a forced mate in six. King h8, then f7, yeah, it's over, white is winning. So this was a brilliant attacking game by Stockfish and hope that you enjoyed it greatly. Those who are facing winover variation and are playing the advanced variation, this game can be very useful. There are lots of attacking motives to learn from this game. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care!